John Deere guarantees low fuel consumption figures, especially in transport applications on 6R six-cylinder models, 7R and 8R tractors. If you use more than the fuel consumption figure that we say, we'll give you your money back. But if you use less than that fuel consumption figure, we'll pay you back double. That's a pretty good deal, isn't it? Let's have a look at some ways that you can optimize your John Deere tractor to achieve low fuel consumption figures. The first area to focus on is the ballast that is on the tractor. Did you know that during transport applications, for every one tonne of unnecessary ballast you have on the machine, you will increase your fuel consumption by one litre per hour. For this reason, we recommend that you remove all unnecessary ballast for transport work. Does ballast also include a front weight? Front weights can increase traction levels when a tractor is going to be used in the field under heavy load on applications such as a slurry tanker with an injection system on the rear. However, during transport work, this isn't needed, so remove it. The second area to focus on is tyre pressures. During transport applications, it's always recommended to run your tyres at a higher pressure than compared to field work. Assuming you have selected the correct tyre sizes and ballasted the tractor correctly, tyre pressures is the next biggest area which will affect your tractor's fuel consumption figures. By running with the correct tyre pressures, you will decrease your tractor's fuel consumption for between 5 and 15%. Tyre pressures in transport applications should always be higher than that of field work. By increasing your tyre pressures during transport work, you will reduce the rolling resistance, so therefore your fuel consumption will be decreased. And don't also forget to adjust the pressures in your trailer tyres, as they will also have an effect on the tractor's fuel consumption. Tyre manufacturers have charts, online tables and apps which will help you to determine the correct tyre pressure for your tractor. These charts are based on maximum axle load and also your forward speed. Axle load can be determined using a weigh bridge and your forward speed, you should use your maximum forward speed. So whether that's 40 km an hour or 50 km an hour. This will then give you the most fuel efficient tractor for transport operations. But please remember, this video is only talking about transport work. For field work, we would be using different tyre pressures. Do you have some optimization tips that you'd like to share with our online community? If you do, leave your comments below in the comments area and we look forward to seeing your feedback. We'll see you in the next video.